This is a 180 degree servo. We know it's a 180 degree servo because when it's hooked up to a servo tester, we're able to get the full 180 degree sweep. However, if I take the same servo and I plug it into an RC receiver, now when I throw the stick, I'm only getting a 90 degree sweep. What's going on here and is there anything you can do to fix it? Let me share with you what I've learned. So let me walk you through the setup here because we've got lots of things that are connected. Uh, this is the servo. It's a 24 volt direct power servo. Uh, I have my benchtop power supply set to output 24 volts and that comes in over here. Um, I have a Maestro, my servo tester and my RC receiver connected. Those are three different ways that you can hook up and connect the servo. Uh, both the uh, RC servo tester and the receiver run on five volts. So I've got this little voltage converter here. So that's taking the five, the 24 down to five and powering both of these. The Maestro is getting its uh, logic power from uh, USB, which I've got hooked up to a laptop. And it's getting the direct power also from the benchtop power supply. Uh, the wiring gets a little bit uh, tricky because I'm not powering the servo through either of these two options here. So I just have a signal and ground wire that I can swap and that connects to a, an extension lead for the servo and the servo power then is coming from the 24 volts. The 24 volts just can't pass through either of these. It's just too much. So pretty much all servos are set up to accept a PWM signal that ranges from a low of 500 milliseconds to a high of 2,500 milliseconds. So that's a 2,000 millisecond range, 1,500 being right in the middle. So servo testers like this include a potentiometer that allow you to just vary that pulse width all the way from a minimum of 500 to a maximum of 2,500, give or take. However, when we hook this up to an RC receiver, we're going to see something different. So if we can see on my mix here, let me scroll all the way down to the bottom. We'll see if I can focus on this or not. So you'll see that when I move the stick, we're getting a signal of just over 2,000 milliseconds, and we're getting a minimum of just under 1,000. So this is the thing with RC transmitters, is they generally only output a 1,000 millisecond range signal. So they're only going from 1,000 to 2000, 1500 is still in the middle, so that's kind of nice, but we're only getting uh, about half of the actual travel range of the servo. So what can we do to resolve that? All right, so taking a closer look at the, uh, at the output there on our mix, you can see that uh, at least according to that little bar graph there, there's still potentially some room to go. And you can go in and you can modify this by tapping on the channel uh, which takes you then to this screen. And again, you can see the actual output values. So there's our, our maximum limit there is just over 2,000. And our minimum is just about 9.99 or just 1,000. So on here, we can go in and we can choose to uh, change the minimum uh, for our mix, for our output signal. And we can choose to increase that. Now, one thing that I did notice is if you try and increase it beyond minus 125%, you get an error message here. Now, my limited research has not really told me exactly how the uh, SBUS redundancy comes into play. I don't know if that has to do with having another receiver. If anyone happens to know, please uh, add a comment uh, in the uh, down below and, and let me know what this means. But for now, I will go ahead and continue. And if I do decide to continue, it will actually let me go as far as 150%. So I can do the same thing on the maximum. It'll let me go as far as 150. Now, with this, 
you'll see that my limit is now up to about 2250, which makes sense. It's gone about 250 more. And the minimum is down to about uh, 700 something. So if we take a closer look now at the servo, you'll see that the range has improved, but we're still not getting the full 180 degree sweep. Uh, and that's because no matter what we do, we can't get our transmitter to actually output the full 500 to 2500 millisecond uh, range of PWM signals. So what does that mean? Well, it means that if you need the full range of 180 degree servo, um, you either need to get a 270 degree servo and then set the limit so it sweeps 180 degrees based on the limited PWM range, or you need to find some other way to modify the signal that is being sent from the transmitter um, and modify that somehow before it gets to the servo. And that's where, um, that's where a couple of other workarounds come into play. So this is where the uh, Maestro servo controller comes into play. Uh, now I have connected the servo directly to this. I don't need to use my funky little connection because I already have the 24 volt servo power coming into the Maestro. Um, and then the signal for now will be coming from the Maestro control center. Uh, so let's see what the, uh, what the servo values are and what we can do within the Maestro software. All right, so I've connected the Maestro to this laptop and I've launched the Maestro Control Center. And we can see here if I enable channel zero on the Maestro, which is the channel that the servo is hooked up to, I can take this slider and I can slide it the default. Again, has a maximum of 2000 and a minimum of 1000. So we're still only getting that 50% uh, of our range. However, with the Maestro, we can go over to the channel settings, and for that channel, we can specify our own minimum and maximum. So I can set that to 500 and 2500. I can apply the settings. And now, if I go back out here, enable channel zero, you'll see that now we are getting the full 180 degree sweep. Uh, another alternative is GoBuilda uh, makes these little travel tuner uh, devices. They're about 20 bucks for, uh, well, it'll be for each servo. And uh, it basically sits between the receiver and the servo and allows you to dial in your own minimum and maximum uh, limit for the sweep. Uh, the one drawback to these is you can't pass high voltage through these. So you'd have to get a little creative in the wiring uh, they would probably be able to draw their power from the receiver, uh, but you would not get the power out from the uh, travel tuner to your receiver or to the servo. You would need to, um, you know, bypass that and, and get, your, get your servo power a different way. Um, but either of those are good options. So the end result of all of this is that now B has full range of his lifts as well as the tilt function, because I'm able to use Kyber's pass-through uh, capability so that the RC channels for the lifts pass through uh, Kyber and into the Maestro, where I can tailor those limits and make sure that I'm getting the full range of motion for those servos. I'll probably be doing something similar on the body lifts. I haven't gotten to that point yet. Uh, but I should be able to at least uh, tune those servos correctly so that I do get the full range of motion. So all this RC stuff is still somewhat new to me. If there's a, a better way to achieve uh, what I've done here, please share uh, some information and, and comments down below. Um, in the meantime, I hope you all are doing well. Uh, happy building, and I'll be back with some more updates soon.